Um, right, so issue one. Um, I actually have two uh, copies of. Um, so the first one still has the badge partially attached to the front cover, but the cover itself <laughs> is not attached uh, to the magazine. And then there's one behind it where the badge isn't attached, but the cover is. So sort of equally the best of both worlds and also neither. Um, that's issue one. Um, we'll hustle through some of these because not all of them are terribly noteworthy. Uh, issue two. Um, issue three. Issue four. Issue five. Issue six. Issue seven. It's probably about as many as I can fit on there in one go. Um, issue eight. They reuse that cover um, for one of the specials. I forget which. I dare say we'll come to it. Uh, issue nine. And issue ten. It could just about fit ten in there. So that's the first ten. There you go. Uh, then issue 11, I hope that isn't too kind of washed out with colour, uh, with light rather. Um, issue 12, uh, issue 13, uh, we'll get rid of those because then they get a bit more interesting. Uh, right, so issue 14 um, came with the original sticker album. Now I haven't bagged this like I have the other ones because the sticker album's too wide. Uh, but that's the original bag that it came in along with the sticker album that came with it, and the sticker album itself, um, ooh, there's a backing card in there, the sticker album itself is um, pretty much mint, I don't think it's ever been opened more than a couple of times. The stickers that came with this originally, so it says down the bottom comes with free stickers, would have been a packet of stickers mounted, like sellotaped inside the magazine. Actually think about it, because it was bagged, the stickers were probably loose. Um, those have been stuck in, but otherwise it's unused. Um, Issue 15 is a particular favourite of mine for two reasons. One, because it's got a cool cover. Two, um, issue 15 came with a set of stickers and because issue 15 wasn't bagged, um, the stickers were somewhere in here, were uh, sellotaped or glued in this case inside the magazine and the packet of stickers it came with are still there still mounted on the inside, unused and unopened. Took a long time to come by that one. Um, moving on, Ugh. next batch, uh, issue 16, and issue 17, issue 18, issue 19, reuse that cover, uh, 189 I think, off the top of my head. Uh, issue 20, Issue 21, issue 22, 23, one of my favourite covers, loved the Stay Puft cover, brilliant. Um, 24, 25, then they also reused that cover later on, that's the first 25 issues. Uh, all of these are bagged and boarded, incidentally. Um, I haven't sealed the bags because I can't ever rule out the possibility of getting a better quality copy of one, so I'll leave them open just in case. Um, 26, acid free um, bags, uh, cards, incidentally. Uh, 27, sorry, 26, 27. Uh, 28 it gets a bit more complicated, so let's get rid of those two. So issue 28 came with, um, well, there's issue 28. Issue 28 came with these Willow cover gifts. Um, now, I know how many there are variants because somewhere at the back of my room, because I have, um, if we have a quick look inside, so it is boarded, um, but I've had to sort of stick them back to front because they overlap and this one's popped out. Um, so issue 28 came with the thing, that one's come out. Um, and then there's another variant here, so that's two variants. Ugh, stand up. Stand. Okay, uh, that's another variant, and another variant, and another variant. And this one, if it hadn't come free of its moorings, would be another variant. There were, I think, nine different um, Willow 
things that came through. They were also given away in Kellogg's cereals at the time, as you can probably see at the top it says Kellogg's. Um, so I do have uh, at least one complete set of them sealed from when they came in, the cereals. And then on the back, just give an example of one. Let's go for, it was when I was, my favorite one when I was little. Uh, Sorsha, yeah. So they have, I don't know, well you can see that, I'll take it further back so it's focused. They have like the front of the character and then a sort of setting that they can sort of stick into uh, and on the back is a slightly different setting, what presumes the inside and then the reverse of the character. So I think there were nine of those um, and between, um, so one assumes that you could have nine separate copies of this issue with each of the variants and also as I say I've got all of the variants still sealed from when they were given away in cereals. Uh, not that I collected them myself personally, I got them on eBay. Um, so that's issue 28, back in business. Uh, 29, fairly unremarkable. Uh, issue 30, 31, 32, obviously pause these if you want to actually look at the artwork. Uh, issue 33, there's all them. Next batch. Uh, issue 34, 35, no cover gifts for a while now, 36, 37, 38, reuse that issue, that cover as well, later on issue 190, 191, somewhere around there I think, um, issue 39, issue 40, so that's the first 40 issues, uh, so issue 41 came with um, Real Ghostbusters Jelly Sweets, now of course I don't have any of those Jelly Sweets, I did have um, but I, I sold it to somebody in the end because I thought I'm never going to eat it. Who knows what horrible things are lurking inside. So issue 41, I've got the original thing. is still cover mounted. It's just the suite itself has been taken out. Uh, and behind it there is another one with, I don't know if it's a different suite. There's a bit more remnants of it in that one. Um, so that's 41. 42 uh, came with a Slimer badge on the front. In terms of issues that you can buy, like on eBay, that still have the cover gifts attached, 40, uh, 42, it's very common. I mean, it's sufficiently common that I've got, oh, they've all fallen over. Uh, I've got three uh, copies with the badges still attached. Uh, there's one. <laughs> uh, two. Whee! And three, so there's three of them. Um, as I say, it's very easy to get hold of that particular one for some reason. I don't know what it is about that badge that fans didn't like it, so they just left it on the front. Issue 43. Always strikes me as quite interesting that there are certain issues where the cover gifts are just invariably always still attached. It's very difficult to find one almost without it attached. And yet there are others where finding it with the cover gift attached is incredibly difficult. I don't know what don't know what, there's no pattern, as far as I can tell. Uh, so that's issue 43, nothing remarkable about that particularly. Uh, 44, 45, 46, 47, 48, 49, and 50. It says fabulous 50th issue, um, but they didn't particularly do anything inside to make it noteworthy. Uh, 51, 52. 53, and they've all slumped over in the box that I store them in, so bear me a second while I fish out the next batch. This is part of the reason why I backed them with card, is because I store them vertically in a box, um, and they do have a habit of slumping over. Uh, issue 54, and one of the most annoying ones to look for on eBay, or when you see it on eBay, is issue 55, because it has the same, does it have the same cover as 193? Maybe I'm wrong, maybe I'm confused. Don't think I am confused. Am I confused? I do get confused quite easily. I'm pretty sure, maybe not the speech bubble, but I'm pretty sure from memory that issue 193, the last issue, has the same graphic, the same illustration. Um, so often you'll sit on eBay and be like, oh! and then you realize it's issue 55 again. Uh, issue 56, 57, 58, I think they also reuse that one later on. 59, don't know what the decision making process was around which ones they reused. And issue 60, so that's the first 60, obviously. Uh, 61, 62, 
65, no, 65, 66. Uh, actually, another one with a cover gift coming up. So, um, 67 also had uh, a real ghost versus suite attached. I do still have the suite inside this one. It's quite firm and not at all appealing. Uh, there's actually two in here, and there's also another one behind where the suite thing is empty. Um, can't imagine getting a magazine with a free suite on the front and not eating it when I was a kid. But that's probably why I'm so fat now. <clears throat> uh, right, 68 is one of my favourites. I have a lot of copies of 68. Um, 68 came with um, temporary tattoos, um, of which I have that's three, four. <laughs> Oh my god, <laughs> five <laughs> and six, it's stuck together, that's how much I like them, five and six, uh, there's also a seventh with the tattoos and um, purely by coincidence I also have a set of the tattoos, they were all the same, same um, variations, there's only one set, might even be able to actually have a proper look underneath the paper if I can lift it without, Ooh, it's a bit of a car crash under there. Um, but that's a better view of what the tattoos were and you literally just sort of stick it on your hand and wet the back um, so yeah I've got quite a few copies of that that's another one where actually getting it with the cover gift still attached is not difficult um, I've been collecting these since um, probably 1999, 2000 somewhere around there I think that's when I first got like a job lot on eBay and that kind of sparked my passion for collecting um, and I've, I've had ones with the tattoos still on the front for eons they're very easy to come by um, issue 69 came with a little vinyl logo sticker underneath the sticker I don't know if I dare risk it but it's really glued down underneath is basically this picture so it's quite easy when you're looking on eBay to think that it comes with the sticker but then realise actually it doesn't, it just looks like it did. Um, so again there's there's a few of these, um, there you can kind of see underneath this one where the hand is sort of creeping out, it's the same picture. Uh, there's five of those and then I also do have a separate, just one of the stickers that someone's unceremoniously ripped off a cover at some point in the past. Um, again that's not a difficult copy, a difficult issue rather to, to get hold of with the cover gift on it. Um, if you're interested in that kind of thing, it's one of the easier ones to come by. There are more difficult ones to find, as we will come to. Uh, right, so that was 69, 70, uh, 71, 72, 73. Some of these, um, not many because I've replaced them over the years, but some of these have got either like a name on the front cover or a number of whoever was reserving it at the news agents at the time. I didn't mind particularly originally um, because it kind of gave it a sort of, I don't know, like a link to its past. Um, but increasingly since then I've, I've tended, if I've had a, two copies of one, I've kept the one that hasn't got writing on it just from a collecting point of view. Uh, 74, another Marshmallow Man cover, nice. 75, 76, uh, 77, uh, is those. 78 came with a Ghostbusters 2 logo badge, um, thus, down the bottom, it's only little. Um, I have three, I think, of these. There's that one that was upside down, it's annoying. Um, and that one's slightly on its side. There might be different variants of different positions of where the badge was when it was sellotaped on at the front. Um, again, these ones I tend to store sort of upside down because then you're sort of spreading the extra bulge of the badge around otherwise you end up with three badges basically in the same position on top of each other and that takes up loads of space to be surprised. 79, uh, number 80, the wreck of the cover of 80 looks familiar, I wonder if they've reused that on one of the puzzle busters or something, it does look like it's been used more than once. Um, 81, 82, 83, can I get to 85 without having to swap? 84, uh, 85, that's all those. 86, 87, 88, 89. Oh, and now we're getting to an interesting one, number 90. Right, 90 is very interesting. 90 is one of my favorites and I'll show you why. 
So issue 90 came with a door hanger. These are surprisingly difficult to come by for some reason. I guess this was a gift that people like to take off. Um, so there's one, um, there's another variant there, another variant there, and another sort of variant there. I can't really display them all at once. So I'll fold that out a bit. It'd be nice if you could see them all at the same time. Uh, that one there, and then that, can I? can't really, that's those. Um, interesting, the reason why it's interesting is because these were something that um, could be bought. Jeez, um, kicking the camera bag around. These door hangers could be bought separately. They were a thing you could buy, like some of the stickers we'll see later um, could just be bought from shops. Um, so that's, those are the ones I have on the cover. And then I also, I really want to hold that in place. See if I can't spread these out a little better. Let's move that one. Don't fall over. I'll just about get away with it, I think. Um, on the back of these, there were different designs, so that which makes it more difficult to collect because I don't know how many variants there are. Uh, but you could also buy them separately as as bookmarks, as bookmarks, as door hangers. Um, so these are three others that I have. Um, I don't know how many variants there are of these. I only discovered these very, very recently that you can buy. They were made by Classic Character. Um, the backs of these also have... That's what I'm showing myself. I should be showing you, shouldn't I? Um, the backs of these have also got um, different sort of designs on them. Um, so there's a Spooks in and also uh, spooks out um, and that one which has this room is protected um, the idea of things being protected by ghostbusters at the time was quite a big thing seen a lot of merchandise that has this room protected by ghostbusters uh, so that's issue 90 so i've got five with bookmarks attached three separate bookmarks all of them different i don't know how many different ones there are i uh, would love to find out uh, right, issue 91 came with, and I can't really show you this particularly easy, um, came with a gigantic free Ghostbusters 2 poster. I've got three of these. Um, there's the other two. Um, I can't show it to you because it's folded and stapled inside, but it's basically just a massive Ghostbusters 2 logo. What I can sort of do is you can maybe, if you can see through the paper, um, but there's a, there's a bit of it. Uh, it's pretty big. It's like a two i guess it would be what's that four times a four isn't it um that's pretty good that's quite that's that difficult to find but a lot of people would have taken out and hung it up so i have seen ebay listings for just the posters separately uh that's 92 uh 93 whoops uh, 94 pushing towards the first hundred now uh 95 96 97 98, 99, I think 100 from memory came with a bookmark, or I could be wrong. Ah, oh, I am wrong. Uh, and 100 it came with nothing. <laughs> Just nothing. Um, 101, uh, 102, 103, 104, 105, 106, 107, 108. That's the first eight of them. Um, 109 came with a free Slimer bar. I've never seen a copy with the Slimer bar intact. Um, this one has the wrapper still attached to the cover, albeit they've cut into it to get the bar out. Um, so that's quite scarce. I've, so I've never, never seen it. Uh, 110, 111, 112, 113, 114. 115, uh, 116, 117, 118, 119, 120, 121. Now we're getting to this weird period where Slimer's a lot more prevalent. I've never liked Slimer. I didn't like him in the cartoon. Didn't like him in the comics. Um, so yeah, 121, certainly for a while. Um, Slimer's a bit more of a central part of proceedings. 
for good or bad. Uh, 122, 123, I think that's the first period of XO3, could be wrong. 124, 125, notice there's a big Slimer sort of prevalence on the covers now. Uh, 126, I haven't had a free gift in a while. 127, 128, 129, uh, and then we get to 130. Um, 130 came with a cover gift, but without having my spreadsheet to hand. Yeah, I've got a spreadsheet. Um, it's a chewy bar. There we go. As I was gonna say, I can't remember what the gift actually is. Again, I've never seen um, 130 with the chewy bar attached. I don't know what chewy bar it is, whether it's a real Ghostbusters one or a Slimer one or something else. Um, so that's a, a gap in the collection as far as I'm concerned. Uh, 131. 132 noticeable shift in the design like the style of the covers in these more recent ones uh, notice that Anne Slimer has has stopped when did that disappear um actually don't know now didn't. Uh, 122 was the last Anne Slimer now we're just back to Rugo's again 133 134 oh there he is again 135 uh, 136 137, another of my favourite covers coming up, so that's 137. Um, oh god, they're all flopping everywhere. Uh, nice Marshmallow Man cover, lovely. Uh, 139, it's 138, wasn't it? Uh, 140, uh, we'll get rid of those because then there's another one with a gift. Um, 141 came with Ricicles, um, the sort of Ricicles mask. Don't think there were any variant, well, there was only one variant, so there's another copy. Um, that's the mask and it it's sort of lenticular sort of can't actually get it to do anything this one uh comes with a beetlejuice uh joke book thusly still attached and it took me absolutely forever to get a hold of a copy with the, the gift still on it and then i picked up another one almost a week later and i've never seen one before in all the years i've been collecting it um so i'm tempted to say it's quite a scarce cover gift but maybe it's not 144, 145, 146, 147, 148, 149. Ah, here we go, here's the one with the bookmark. 149, uh, 150 came with a real Ghostbusters bookmark. Um, I will show you that I have a few of them, uh, four I think altogether. Um, it's always the same one, there's no, no variation. Um, so there you go, I think that cover gift was also used in the bumper, the Marvel bumper comics, I think. Certainly I'm confident in saying, or well, it might be one of the Puzzle Busters, or one of the um, collective comics, but certainly they Marvel gave that bookmark away more than once. Um, 151. 152 came with the Mallow's, Refre Mallow's Refresher bar, sweet thing here, never seen one with it on the front. Um, consider that pretty rare too. 153, uh, 154, 155, 156, 157, 158, probably not going to be able to fit any more in there, 159, 160, 161, 162, 163, oop, oh yeah, 164 is interesting. 163. Then we have another quick run of gifts. Um, so 164 came with a badge on the front. That one's Egon, obviously. Don't know why I felt I need to point that out. Uh, that's Ray. Uh, I have also seen uh, a Venkman one. I don't know how many variants of this badge exist. Certainly there's, I would imagine there's four, one for each of the characters. I've, I've got a feeling I've also seen um, Ecto-1. So there might be five at least. Uh, I don't know. Comparatively scarce, it's a nice big badge, so I can understand why it would have been taken off by kids in the day. Um, 165 also came with a gift that came with stickers. Uh, I think that's it, I've only got those two. Um, these were made by a company whose name escapes me, CPT Holdings, um, but they had like a, a different, like a like a name name but I can't think what it is. Um, they did a whole load of these. If you look on eBay often you'll see 
sets or individual of these stickers come up. There were loads of them, like probably a hundred or something. The odds of getting every single variation, pretty slim, I would think, if you do happen to have issue 165 with all however many variations of that sticker there are. Um, the stickers were, incidentally, I don't know how easy it is to see, uh, numbered. I don't know if you can probably can't see that. That says GB115, this is GB83. Uh, so, I mean, you know, we know for a fact there's at least 115. 166, 167, 168, 169, 170. Let's start again from there. 171, 172, 173, 174, 175, 176, 177. Um, 178 came with the Ghostbusters Jelly Sweet, still inside. Don't eat it, for the love of God, don't eat it. We'll get rid of that for a second, actually. Uh, 178, now we're hitting to the 80s, very nearly into the 80s, where things become a lot more difficult to come by. Um, 179 came with uh, a Ghostbusters sticker. I did think I got a loose one. Well, I have got a loose one, there it is. Um, I've only got two variants of that, or three actually, because there's one of the stickers that came off one of them. Um, again, these are made by the same company, CPT Holdings. These are also numbered. This is GB122, uh, GB104, GB102. Yeah, so it might be that there was just like 150 of them or something, including the bigger ones we've seen. Uh, I don't I don't know. I'm sure that could be found out reasonably easily. I don't know if the company that made them is still trading one way or another, so I don't know if there's anybody you could ask. Um, but there you go. Uh, right, 180. Now we get into the ones that are particularly difficult to come by. Uh, 180. 181. 182. 183. 184, 185, I remember the first one of these I came by, somebody had like biorode in, all, it was horrible, they made a right state of it. Why would you do that? Why would you do that? Uh, 185, uh, then it changes to monthly, um, but with more pages, which is a bit of a rip because, you know, if you, four of the original ones, page-wise, would not equate to one of these, so. It says extra pages, but really it's not, is it? Uh, so now monthly 186, um, 187, also issue two's cover, if you remember that far back. Um, 188, also recycled cover. 189, also a recycled cover. I'll also point out, I think from memory, all of these stories uh, are recycled from old copies, old issues. Uh, 190, um, and then we run into the final three. Now I've only ever seen issue 193 twice um, in the wild for sale. Uh, 191, 192, and last but not least, 193, the very last issue, which still has this Rice Krispies disappearing sticker on the front cover, still sellotaped onto it. Don't know what it does, no idea, never, well, I mean, taking it off would obviously be ridiculously stupid. So I don't know what it does. I'm never going to find out, I don't suppose. Um, so that's all of the standard run. Then they were also, uh, they did monthly issues. I don't have all the monthly issues. Um, issue one of the Brewer Ghostbusters monthly. Uh, issue two, issue three, issue four. And I think there's a fifth, possibly a sixth. I think there's a fifth. Um, I've never seen it. I've got, I've got pretty much all of them um, scanned as PDFs and stuff, but I've I've never seen um, never seen that one. Uh, my Ghostbusters sticker album from when I was a kid that is actually my old sticker album. It's complete um, with glow in the dark stickers, not all of which have survived. Um, stuck in it. Uh, I've got a blimey it's Slimer that's not terribly interesting. I don't know why I kept it really. Um, then there were specials, like collected comics. These are a bit of a mystery because no one really seems to quite know how many they did. So there was an Easter special and there was a winter special. Then oh, actually, let's get rid of those two because those two seem to exist in their own little kind of microcosm of specialness. Uh, there's that Slimer cover I mentioned, recycled. Uh, collected comics number one and number two and number three 
And number four, uh, number five, number six came with a, a whatever the hell this is on the front, some sort of sticker or something. I don't know what it is. Um, that's collected comics number six. Uh, collected comics number seven. Haven't seen eight. Don't know what eight is. Never seen it. Uh, number nine. Um, number ten. I've never seen. Collected comics number eleven is taller for some reason than the previous ones. Um, I don't know how many collected comics there are. However, I'm pretty sure I've seen at least number fifteen, which means they obviously continue long beyond what I've got. Um, but I, yeah, those are the only ones I've got. Sorry about that. And then there were Puzzle Busters they did, um, of which again I don't know how many exactly there are. That's Puzzle Buster number one. Uh, that's number three. Never seen number two. Number four. Number five. Number five came with a free good bookmark, so that'll be the one that we saw previously on 150, I think it was. Uh, number five and number six. Again, I don't know how many of these there are. Um, I would imagine six or seven, probably. Uh, that was July 91, I don't think it carried on much beyond that. And then there were two poster magazines, one which folded out to look like this, uh, and one which folded out to look like that. And that's my Real Ghostbusters magazine collection. Thanks for watching.